Hi guys, I'm Jamie Zachariah and you are watching Panthera TV. Today I'm here with Chris Klein, who is our Director of Conservation Technology. Yep. Um, and he's going to teach us a little bit about camera trapping, which we refer to a lot because it's one of our main stays of monitoring wildcats. Um, but now you're going to get to hear a little bit more about it from the king of camera traps himself. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just going to take you through uh, some of the history of the camera traps, which have been developed at Panthera beginning back around 2008. This is uh, an early version of the camera we produced, version two. Um, we only made about 150 of these. They were used in Malaysia pretty successfully. And based on that, we then, after about 18 months, uh, designed a new version, version three features a injection molded enclosure. The benefit there being the um, weatherproofness of the camera, keep the moisture out. And now we're in the 2013 timeframe. We developed an offshoot of the original basic camera trap that was designed for poacher detection. So in order to do that, we added a functionality which included a GSM module which communicates over a cell phone network, basically making the camera a real-time security camera. Our most recent uh, design is the version 7, which is just being produced now. In addition to greater performance through a new processor internally, it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability, which simplifies the process for the field teams to program the cameras, configure the cameras, and execute certain functions wirelessly, which helps them to set up the cameras in the field. What's next? We have version 7. It's new and sparkly and wonderful, but what's next in general when it comes to the technology that we develop? Um, yeah, uh, among the things that... Um, we want to focus on in the coming months are uh, a poacher cam that doesn't depend on a cell phone network. So in these very remote areas, there isn't cell coverage. Um, so we want to um, develop a means to transmit images in these remote areas using satellite technology. Ultimately, um, it, it's a, it's, these cameras are a tool to um, uh, enable researchers to, to do what they need to do in terms of understanding the wildlife that's out there and, um, and basically measure the, the results of their conservation efforts. You know, is it making a difference? They have a baseline measurement with the cameras and then at a future point, they do another uh, uh, you know, population density study and, and make judgment about what, whether uh, what they're doing is effective. So. Okay, well, thank you for sitting with us today and explaining this really important and really awesome technology um, and that we hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about how we use science to study wild cats. Thanks for watching Panthera TV. Follow us at Panthera Cats on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.